Hello friends, it's a Rafra from Thoughtbot. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use Retrofit to call your uh, API in just five easy steps. So let's get started. Uh, the first step is to add dependencies in your project. I have given all the dependencies in the description box you can get from there. Uh, I have already added all dependencies. So let's move forward to the step number two. Uh, the step number two is all about installing a plugin. Uh, and to install plugin you have to go to the file settings and plugin uh, and here in the marketplace tab you have to search for json to kotlin class converter json to kotlin converter uh, and after installing this plugin you have to restart your android studio project uh, to start working with it so let's move forward to step number three uh, the step number three is to go to your api uh, my is api.github.com slash users and yes it's working so uh, copy this response and go back to your android studio project and right click on the project right click new and json to kotlin convert i'm giving name here which is users generate so as you can see uh, two data uh, class uh, two data classes are generated here one is returning arrays and second is of each item type so uh, let's move forward to step number three uh, which is to create an interface let's create an interface api interface and it will be of type interface uh, yes, here we will write our methods to get to user from that API. So for that, write f u fun get users, and it will return its return type will be of response of type user. Keep in mind this user is uh, of that data class user, which we got just now. User. Yes. Uh, and after this we have to write uh, annotations at the read get to tell it of it that uh, here i am getting my data at the read get and pass my endpoint here so the endpoint is uh, this users uh, after my base url uh, the rest of the url is my endpoint paste it here and that's it we have completed step number three let's move forward to step number two uh, four. In the step number 4, we will create a class for uh, utilities. Let's create it utils and it will be a tab object. Yes. Here uh, we will write our base URL. Let's create our variable for base URL. Base URL is API dot and whatever. So Base is equals to and my URL here. Let's go back to our and this uh, till the dot com. Uh, my URL is my base URL. Let's paste it here. And after that, we will write a function uh, to make an instance of retrofit. Keep in mind, I have created this object uh, so that uh, uh, we don't want create instance of this class again and again I will get this method without creating instance of this class uh, it will be of return type retrofit return retrofit dot builder places and base URL I will pass base here dot add converter factory JSON converter dot create and then dot build. Um, that's it. In this step number five, which will be last step, we will connect both utils and interface classes in the main activity. So let's start. 
first I created a variable of uh, user here and after this with the help of utils class and that instance I will call it uh, dot create and then we will pass API interface colon colon class dot java as this is my retrofit class uh, and it will create instance of that class and that's it uh, let's get results well results is equals to user dot get users uh, this is that get user method which we defined in our API interface so let's move forward if result not equals to null if this is null then uh, obviously we are getting any response from our API I'm writing log d to check get results dot body now uh, we just have to add internet permission here uses internet permission internet that's it my project is showing an error uh, whose solution is that uh, we have to call this API on the backend thread uh, because our application is freezing and so for that we have to write suspend uh, in our interface so that our this method will be called on the backend thread and the step number two is uh, just on the main activity we have to we just have to write our whole code in this global scope I'm showing you again just write global scope dot launch and just uh, paste the whole code in this block and that's it uh, and here as you can see uh, this our JSON response uh, in our application as we wrote in that log D that's why it's uh, being appeared here so if you like this video uh, please hit the like button and for any type of query and for suggestion and recommendation and for any type of question you can comment below uh, hope you like